Having a puppy, it's an adventure. And you know what? They know that at the Nebraska Humane Society. In today's Pet Talk, the class designed just for what they call junior dogs. Welcome back, Pet Behavior Specialist Kathy Ganan. And Hi, Kathy, Kat. good morning. You brought in Jack and Jill today. I did. Oh, my God. They are both fresh little well, puppies. Jill's they are. teething. Yes, they're, they're <laughs> nine weeks old. Uh -huh. And there's some sort of a Bichon Chihuahua mix. Yeah. I uh, am really fond of Jack. And and Jack Jack loves me. And there me, you go. Sure you guys and know. me of Jill. Aren't these? Do they need to go to a home Jack. together, Kathy? No, or what's they do the not. They can go separately, and it would probably be a really good idea if they did. Why? Why do you say that? Well, they're not, are they brother and sister? They are brother they and are. sister. Okay. Yes. Um, one is wiry, and one is more has yes. a softer coat. Just different coats. Yep. Um, but they love each other. Time, they do, and they were arguing a little bit ago, very nicely, and loudly, <laughs> like siblings. <laughs> they do. Often do. They yeah. do. Um, but they, they will do better separately just because they've grown up together already. Their identity will be better if they stay separate mm -hmm. as they go on and adopt out. Um, otherwise, when they hit adolescence, they can get rather testy I'm with sure. each other. Really? But that's, a, that's with puppies in general, it not is. just any with kind of litter, Yeah, any did kind you, of litter mate. Did you say what, what you believe these are? Bichon Chihuahua. And that means what in terms of sort of if you adopt one of them, what should you expect out of those characteristics? Um, well, probably not any bigger than 10 pounds, but she's only four <laughs> pounds now and he's only seven. Uh -huh. So they're not going to be big dogs. He's starting to um, play now. The, uh, but they're, they're friendly. They're outgoing. They'll be game to do stuff. Probably not at a household that has real little children mm -hmm. because they're, they'll be pretty petite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, this is per, it kind of turning into these classes that you do. You have something called Adventure Puppy. We do. Right? So what does that involve? It's geared for those three and four monthers who need lots of experiences from sights, sounds, smells, touches, other puppies, lots of people, different sizes, shapes, whatever that we can give for them. It's been, studies have been proven that, that you start out that way and then worry more about teaching them behaviors like sits and downs and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. We'll do a little bit of that, but not a lot. But the age range, you, you wouldn't recommend starting with training prior to that. Well, they, the to come to us, they need yeah. to have had the first two rounds of puppy shots. Yeah. Okay, so right. So they're sure. protected. Got so it. that's basically three months is, is about the earliest that ever happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what's a, what's a good next step to build on the adve oh. the puppy adventure? Oh, oh you didn't like to be leaned back, did you? Um, uh, the next step after that, after the puppy, puppy adventure. Puppy a regular puppy six, skills. Yep, a regular six-week class where we'll work more, we'll reverse it, more behaviors as opposed to socialization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you bring in, Kathy? I don't think we're well, throwing a party, though it sort of looks well, like no. you might. We, it does. We just... We will put weird things out for them. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll put a week of surfaces where, and we just glue it to cardboard so that way it's all there, but they learn to put their noses in there. We'll put some treats in there. They put their little noses, they feel the texture mm -hmm. just to get them used to texture type things. It reminds things. me of what you would do with a human baby. It does. When you're, you've got all these blocks and things. Very right? much. Yeah. You know, it, it's just, it feels different. It's, they can pick it up and throw it and it's just, it's an old, it's a mop head. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll do things like this, where they have to, we'll put several down and, and we'll put them on the floor and put some treats in the middle so they, again, have something different mm -hmm. to pass through, get it, get the, tec the touch of the texture, they hear the crinkle. Mm -hmm. um, we also bring out all kinds of things with sound. Oh, both of them parked up with those uh -huh. bells. Uh -huh. It's like, well, we're not real sure about <laughs> hey, it. Hey, lady, what you got? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so but it is just lots of different fun things for them to do. What is the best way to sign up for, for the classes we've touched on here, or maybe some of the others that you offer? Online is the easiest way to do that. You can also come into the shelter. Um, you can also uh, call the number at the shelter and yeah. get to the training line, and we'll mail stuff out to you if you need that. And both of these puppies are for adoption. They are up and for Jack adoption Jack wants today. to go home with somebody. So does Jill. Jack's a... He's an active little guy. They are. They both are. So are as you put them way? on the floor, yeah, they were all over the green room. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have something coming up that's uh, it's the rescue rally. We do. All right. It's you, very do, fun. you do this every year? We do it every year. What is it? Uh, basically, what we do is allow the rescue groups that we work with to come in and have space in our shelter to um, show their animals that they have that are available for adoption but they're, they're a little more breed specific. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of fun for people who are looking for a certain breed and they can really talk to those people about that breed and what is that breed, what's characteristics of the breed and everything. You wouldn't necessarily adopt that day, but you could meet some dogs who are looking Absolutely. for Absolutely, uh -huh. and you can arrange with them because they do lots of home visits and things yeah. like that. Well, because it is about getting, it's the same reason, Kathy, at the Humane Society that you have those meet and greet rooms. Because right. you want to make sure that it's, that it's the right fit for everybody so that once, right. you, once you adopt, once you bring Jill home, uh, that she's able to stay there forever exactly but yeah you're not going back mm -hmm. and forth it is no flipping good. back and forth is hard on the animals uh -huh. yeah it's so really who, who should come to that <laughs> <These talks. laughs> i know 
like hearts. I, I feel like Jack. I can hear hearts uh -huh. melting across this uh -huh. city right now. Jack's a stud. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jill. Um, uh, so uh, they're yeah, they're they're available for adoption at noon they today, are. and at these two today. are available. So they you are. can go down there and get there a little bit early, mm -hmm. so you can yes. start filling out the paperwork, and then right at noon you can get in there <laughs> yep. and play with little Jack or little Jill over there. She likes my ring. I like it too, and I'd love for it to stay in one piece. Let's show you the information for the Humane Society. Uh, as Mike said, adoptions open up at noon, but you can go a little bit early and fill out paperwork, especially with puppies, because sometimes they tend go to go a little bit yeah, faster, yeah. right? You especially see them on TV and you're like, oh, I've got to have that dog. I think there's somebody out there right now that's looking at Jack yes. and says, I, I need to get down there. Is their last name DeJacomo? <laughs> no, 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 no. We already got our puppy. We're good to go for about the next 20 years. Uh, the Humane Society, call that number. It's 402-444-7800. And we started this conversation talking about training. So if you call that number and you want to get hooked up with some information about one of the classes, just ask for training when you call or you can go to the website. They've got a oh, full drop down oh. menu of um, all of the behavior stuff there and then also a complete list of adoptable pets. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks for coming Thank in. you. We appreciate Thanks, it. Kathy. Thanks. Thanks. Right. See you later. Catch her. Now smile at the Bye camera, Jack, because it's your last chance to turn it on. Today, 